Good morning, Kelly Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I want to make this quick video to show you this awesome 2021 Four River Wolf Pup 16 FQ Black Label. I know we're talking about the R Pods. Uh, they are in crazy, crazy high demand, and we are not able to keep up uh, with getting units from the manufacturer. But we do have this Wolf Pup 16 FQ. They are part of the Cherokee family, also manufactured by Forest River. Uh, Cherokee is the number one retailing travel trailer in America. This is a little bit different class than the R-Pod, but this is a black label. So it's gonna be one of the closest uh, that we'll have to an R-Pod with a full-size bathroom. Uh, cool thing about the Wolf Pups, now this is a single axle, it's about 21 feet, uh, it's only 4,000 pounds loaded, but this does have a Murphy bed up front, you have the dinette here, kitchen here, and it does have a big bathroom, and I said you don't want a wet bath, so the nice thing about this one, it's a rear bathroom, so it's the whole width of the box back here. You do have a dedicated sink, and it does have a really good size shower here as well. Uh, these do come with built-in solar from the factory. It's a 50 watt panel. So with that, you're able to run all the lights, the awning, the radio, and the 10 cubic foot all electric fridge that is included on these. So this is all electric. It does not have propane components taking up additional space. These cool down much faster. It does have a residential power microwave here. Brand shit that actually works. Two burner cooktop with a glass insert to give you additional counter space. Uh, speaking of which, these are solid surface countertops, which is an upgrade featured on the black labels. Has a one-piece undermount stainless steel sink here. Residential style faucet. Now, what's cool about this, on the older Wolf Pups, they used to do the uh, east-west bed, then they went to north-south, and they went to the uh, Murphy beds here. So it's really easy to switch it up here. All you have to do is grab these two cushions, put them out of the way, grab the bottom of the couch, it will lay down. Like so. so grab your bedding here. And this mattress just opens up to make into your bed. Like so. So the advantage of the Murphy bed is that you have additional seating for guests during the day. And then you have a regular camper queen size bed here when you're ready to go to sleep. And you also have on the sides a ward for hanging clothes, overhead storage here, a little nightstand area on each side, USB ports, standard power on each side as well. This is the uh, Coleman AC. It's 13,500 BTU, so to keep it plenty cool for heat, you do have a propane furnace located here. Uh, there's storage also underneath the dinette. We have this overhead storage here as well. TV will mount here. It does have HD antenna on board. When the light is green, the booster's on. When it's off, you're relying on built-in entertainment. So here's a radio, multifunction, AM, FM, HDMI, USB in. You have zone one and two. Zone one is inside, zone two is outside. You can play either or or both simultaneously. Uh, so Cherokee's big on blue lights. You have the blue lights in one speaker here, the other speaker here. We also have eight inch subwoofers now, which is really great to make your speaker sound even better. Let me go ahead and show you outside. So with the black labels, the biggest upgrade is gonna be that you have gel coat fiberglass on the outside versus something like this one next door, the rigid uh, sidewalls. So it makes it look really sharp, gives a little bit better insulation. You also get frameless windows. So on most campers, you have the gasket on the outside, but the gasket is actually inside the window. These are tinted for more privacy and energy efficiency. You can also open the main windows. They hinge outward, so even if it's raining, you can still get cross ventilation going. Here's a black label uh, batch there with the blue lights, which is really cool. Very great speakers out here. Big electric awning with a blue LED strip. You can also hook up a TV outside. The mount that works inside is the same one that works outside, so you can just pull the TV off and place it here. You've got power connections, coaxial connection there. This also has a outdoor fridge. Nice thing about this Wolf Pup is that it has 15 inch tires versus 14 for better towability. And these are off-road tires as well. Has the nice more ride step above steps like you found on a fifth wheel. 
They are height adjustable with the feet and fold right into the door when we're ready to go. This is a new tempered glass uh, Paragon door. Makes it look more sharp. Now, the good thing about these is that it does have a backer on the back. Uh, you can add a thin shade for privacy if you want to as well. It's got an extra large door handle. Coming around the back here, it does have a cargo rack rated for 200 pounds total. If you want to put a generator or ice chest on there. LED tail lights are much brighter, more safe, and the practical lasts a lifetime. Our camper does include a backup camera. It's not just wired, one actually has one. It's about a $700 value that you are getting with this camper. We have a convenience light outside, so you can see it early in the morning, late at night. You have one dump station for your gray and black tanks here. 30 amp service, main power connection here. Four manual stabilizers, but a cool trick to that is to get a three quarter inch bit and a drill and operate them up and down very quickly. Furnace exhaust here. Outside shower with hot and cold water. City water for uh, pressurized water if you're at a park or at your property. Fresh water connection here for going off grid. You can operate the 12 volt pump inside. It will circulate water. If you're pulled over at a gas station around the middle of nowhere without shore power, you can run this just on battery. So you can wash your hands, use your bathroom, take a quick shower. It does have a dual power water heater. It's propane and electric. A lot of campers are only propane, but this one can run on shore power. So if you run out of propane, you can still have hot water without having to worry about refilling your tank. This particular camper does have an electric tongue jack. It does have a light in the front, so you can see as well. You just press that for up, that for down. It does have a manual override just in case you lose power or anything else. It has one propane tank. If we can earn your business, it'll be filled and ready to go. We'll also wash it and detail it and do a full systems check and our te uh, technicians will show you how everything works as well. This camper is a uh, two inch ball. Another great thing about the black labels is that you do get magnets on the doors instead of clips. So it just holds itself open like that. Here's the storage underneath the Murphy bed. And you also get a scare light in the front as well. Okay, Kelly again, Sneeko from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I want to make this video to show you the Wolf Pup 16FQ black label. I'd love to turn your business. Let me know what I can do if you have any questions. Thanks again.